all politicians who have held elected executive position in this country should hide their faces in shame. Nami Tokam. They should all hide their faces in shame. Now, can a Tiffin lawmaker make a law to kill himself? The answer is no. The answer is practical no. Except we get one last sincere military government to rewrite our constitution. That's the only way out from this corruption and all the nonsense going on in Nigeria. Good day, my distinguished viewers, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, your trusted media platform for breaking news in politics and business, current affairs and analysis, opinions and headlines, sports and crime news, with a comprehensive up-to-date news coverage aggregated from sources all over the world and every corner of the globe. Our sources of information are reliable and accurate. That's why we are the world-leading liberal voices for the everyday people in Nigeria. But before I go on, if this is your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, please do us well to subscribe, like, and share our videos so that the good Lord will continue to bless you. Thank you all for staying tuned. A Nigerian activist and a lawyer named Malcolm Omoribo advocates death sentence for corrupt politicians. That is the end of the road. That is the final say to stop our politicians from stealing our treasury. He said the Nigerian system has not evolved enough to abolish the death sentence. You see, human rights activist Chief Malcolm Omoribo that called for the death penalty for government officials who embezzled public funds. It's a right calling. The radical lawyer made the call during an exclusive interview with Rudolf Okogwa on 90 Minutes Africa on Sunday. He said, I am a proponent of the death sentence. These people should be tied to the stake and boofed. <laughs> he said they should be tied to the stake and be boofed. <laughs> he said they don't deserve to live. Corruption kills. Nigerians are wasted away due to corruption. Makomes, uh, Makom Omoribo said. <laughs> Mr. Omoribo became an instant internet sensation when he attended a Supreme Court proceedings dressed in uh, the attire of a traditional African religious worshippers. Uh, I hope you all remember the story and uh, saw the video at that time. He said he was motivated to appear in the traditional worshipper attire because he believes that the Supreme Court decision affirming the rights of Muslim female students to wear hijab to school also means that adherents of other religions, including African traditional religion, also have the right to wear their attire to official functions. Well, speaking on the revelations of massive fraud in the Central Bank of Nigeria, by the special investigative panel, the lawyer asked how monies that should be used to improve the lives of Nigerians would be pocketed by few individuals. He argued that it is only the death sentence that can detect corruption in the country. Bam! Hey! I support you with all my heart, my brother. This is going to be very, very, very good if they can pass this to law again. In fact, it is it is in the law already, but I don't know why they don't do it. He said the Nigerian system has not evolved enough 
to abolish the death sentence. You see, it has been there. It has not been abolished. That's the only way the people will sit up. That's the only way they will stop stealing. Because they thief too much. They steal too much. He alleged that many Nigerians leaders, both past and present, cannot account for their wealth. So who is Akpabio or Wike before 1999? The radical lawyer queried, but today they move around with stupendous wealth. You see? People are seeing things. People are your eyes are open. He said, Who's Akpabio? Who is Wike? They are all thieves. And they should be the, they should be they should be hanged and poofed. That is what he said. He added that uh, uh, many past uh, leaders, for example, President Buhari and his cronies, they should be they should be poofed. They should be they should be hung and poofed also. Come on, the lawyer bemoaned the scale of corruption in the country following the report of the special investigation panel led by Jimo Basel, a private investigator on the Central Bank of Nigeria and other entities. Look at uh, the likes of the former CBN governor. A big thief for that matter. He should be hanged and poofed because even his principal too, uh, former President Buhari, should be hanged and poofed, should be poofy lynched. Wicked people. Very wicked people. Oh, my God, if uh, only Nigerians can wake up to the realities of life. Well, I pray they wake up because they are still sleeping. Look at look at the, the high level of corruption in Nigeria. The, 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 in fact, uh, corruption at the highest level. That is what we are seeing in Nigeria. Uh -uh. Just like what the man said, who was uh, Akbabio before? Before he became a governor, who was uh, Amishi? Who is who was Wiki? Eh? Look at the likes of all these people. They move about with stupendous wealth, like he said. This is so sad, and they are and and, and our and our people are living in abject poverty in Nigeria. So people don't know how to get. Their daily bread. And you see this, our government officials elected in positions. They live like they, they are living in in heaven. Under the opposite. Oh my God. My country people, make a living on here. I go see one of my next video. Are the best.